Hello, hello, something different. But I hope that you still got that. My little flyaways are kind of being a little weird looking. It's okay. Hope you don't mind. Um, last week when I had to do a, a recording instead of live video, I are we back? I don't know what is going on. I, it might just be the internet connection in this room, which is not good because it's my office is where I need the internet to be the best. Oh, I guess I could move. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But I hope that there wasn't a big disruption in that little reconnection there. So anyway, happy Wednesday. Happy, what is this, June 8th? Summer is here, people. It is here. It is like a hundred over 100 degrees every single day this week. So you better be hydrating. You better be hearing me telling you your little voice inside you to drink more water because it's hot and it's summertime. Um, so let's talk summer goals. This is exciting because now we are in the mid, we're in it in June. And a lot of times, like, you know, summer, it brings that whole hot girl summer or hot boy summer. Uh, we have maybe we have trips going on, you're going to be in a swimsuit more or you're going to be um, doing more like summery activities. And a lot of times this brings on maybe like summer challenges, summer summer shred, um, <laughs> different sort of weight loss goals for the summer. So that's why the question yesterday was, do you have a summer goal and are you working towards anything specific? Because I wanted to know what you guys are focusing on this summer if you have a specific goal. And we had a lot of really great answers. I'm going to just read a couple of them. Um, no, I'm not because it's kind of long. But we've got a lot of really awesome goals. We have weight loss goals. We have strength goals. We have fat loss goals, building muscle goals. We have nutrition goals. We have being faster on a bike goal. I love it. I loved all of that really awesome engagement. So thank you guys. It makes it so much more fun when everyone's bouncing ideas off of each other. So whatever your goal is for this summer, we want to think about goals in, we have two different types of goals. We have outcome goals and we have behavior goals. Outcome goals are like specifically the number on the scale. Um, uh, what are some other outcome goals? Like the biggest outcome goal when we're thinking about like a health journey, uh, oh, or maybe a blood marker, an A1, if you're trying to lower an A1C, you want, I want an A1C of 5.6, or I want to lose 20 pounds. These are outcome goals. Outcome goals are great to have, but outcome goals, aren't fully in your control. So we need to instead focus on behavior goals. Behavior goals are your daily behaviors, daily habits that help facilitate that outcome goal. So for example, if we're talking about the A1C, outcome goal is A1C of 5.6. The behaviors that you can do to help achieve that outcome might look like limiting carbohydrates to 30 grams per meal, always pairing a protein with your carbohydrates, eliminating sugary drinks, different things like that, that you can set daily behavior goals around. For example, on the scale goal, which a lot of us have, we need, if we're just like so focused, I want to lose this weight, I want to lose this weight, but you're not focused on what you're doing to get there, it's not going to happen, or it's going to be much more difficult to happen. So we need to set those behavior goals to facilitate that outcome. So maybe that means exercising five days a week. Maybe that means hitting a certain amount of protein each day. See how the difference between a behavior goal and an outcome goal, they work synergistically. We can have outcome goals, but we need to kind of pare it down into those daily behavior goals. Now, that leads us into making SMART goals. I'm sure you've heard about this before because I'm sure I have a live video on it back when. I don't remember exactly when I did it last, but I know I've done it. 
but as a recap i've got my hibiscus tea here with some lemon juice in there it's so delicious so refreshing in case you care so smart goals specific measurable achievable realistic and timely so this is how we take a vague goal and turn it into an actionable goal so if your goal is eat healthier oh, that's kind of vague it's not very actionable because we don't really know what specifically to do so we want to turn that into a smart goal so let's say maybe instead of i want to eat healthier we can say i will eat three servings of vegetables every day or i will switch from um a hot dog to chicken breast went with my lunch because th those are specific swaps that you can do and with a specific time so if you have an out this is my in this is what i want you to do now if you commented on the discussion question or even if you didn't uh and you have a goal i want you to think is this an outcome goal or and if it is what behavior goals must I create in order to facilitate that outcome? And make sure that those behavior goals are SMART goals, okay? So you guys got this, go forth, conquer your goals. Uh, before I go though, I know that I've been talking about it a lot, whether you've been seeing it in the Facebook group, whether you follow me on Instagram, whatever, I've been talking about my free summer masterclass. So to, it's actually tomorrow, which is crazy. I'm so excited. We have a lot of great signups. I do have a certain number of spots and we're almost there. So if you're not already signed up, I'm going to put the link in the comments as one of like, I'll put the link to sign up. It's not too late to sign up. Even if you cannot make the live time, still sign up because I will be sending out the replay via email afterwards. So if you haven't already seen it, the title is How to Lose Fat This Summer Without Dieting. So that kind of goes right hand in hand in to these summer goals. So if you have a summer goal of losing some fat, definitely sign up. Definitely come live if you can or Sign up and I'll get give you the replay. It's tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time, 5 p.m. Arizona time where I am. And I'm so excited. So spread the word. If you want to share it, that's awesome. If you just want to snag your spot, that's great too. And it is on Zoom. So you'll actually be able to ask me questions. And I'm so excited. And I'm going to leave it at that. But if you're watching this, and you had an aha moment about your goal, I would love for you to comment your outcome goal, your behavior goal, and make sure that it is a SMART goal, right? We wanna turn that outcome goal into actionable behavior goals so you can accomplish and crush those goals in an actionable, specific way, okay? I'm here for you. Let me know if you need any clarification on any of that, if you have any questions. And I'll see you tomorrow at the masterclass. All right, link will be in the comments. Bye.